Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. I'm a game design minor at NYU, majoring in computer science and language in mind, and welcome to a week or at least a few days of intro to game design over J term at NYU. I originally recorded this class over the course of the day, but in the last 30 seconds I decided to re-record it because I looked at my camera and I thought, you know what? I kind of want to redo that because I didn't really like how it turned out. So I am taking a J term course, which means over three weeks I have class four days out of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, for four hours a day from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And it's a full four credit course. I figured I was home. I like the online learning environment. I needed a class for my game design minor. I don't really have much else to do. So here I am doing this game design course. The layout of the class is fairly simple. It's a 12 week course cut down to three weeks. And there are four main projects. One, two, and three of the projects are group games. The first week we played games with various different mechanics. And then we had to, with our group, make a game out of that. For example, our game was basically press your luck mechanic and it was kind of like a blackjack meets screw your neighbor thing. Week two was all about social games. So mafia, werewolf, Jackbox games, those kinds of things. And we chose to make a game with the theme of deception. And it turned out really well. Our game turned out really well. Really enjoyed working with my group. And this week is just some thematic game. So figured out I'd record a few things every day. We'll see how it goes. The fourth project is a digital game pitch. So I pitched my game Seashell. You can check out devlog number three here to see how that pitch went and you know my process behind the pitch. The first two games were 15% of our grades each, then the digital pitch and the, this week's project are each 20% of our grade, 15% participation, and I believe 15% quizzes. And the quizzes, you might ask, what are those? Well, they're very simple reading checks. So panning over to the laptop screen, we have these three readers, which are essentially articles and textbook chapters compiled into one big PDF. Tuesday, January, January 19th and then it has just a bunch of articles and stuff and it goes until page oh well, okay so Wednesday ends on page 51 which kind of there's a lot of reading it's about 100 pages each week which is okay but then we have the quizzes these are pretty straightforward they're they're pretty easy it's literally just a reading test so it's not really a quiz it's like an open book quiz thing I've skimmed the readings over the weekend and so now it's kind of just going in and scavenger hunting almost what the questions might be answers for so every quiz is eight questions and they always have two subjective questions one of the objective questions might be what distinction does Davio make between painters and sculptors in game design? Rob Davio, is he the one who did Pandemic? Ra Rob Davio and Matt Leacock, right? At NYU, there's a class called Games 101 and you have to memorize essentially like 107 games for your final. Some of them have stuck around in my head and Rob Davio and Matt Leacock are the ones who made Pandemic Legacy, the first consumable board game, or one of the first. Anyway, there's gonna be a direct reading and I, I vaguely remember where he talks about this, so I'll just jump to that page in a minute when I answer. One of the subjective questions on the other hand might be, name a game that you've played that you'd consider the most Ameritrash and briefly describe the qualities that made it so. And they're pretty much all like this. And the other subjective question on this is, Give an example of a licensed game you've played where you feel that the specific IP particularly resonated with the mechanics of the game. For example, I, know, I think Breath of the Wild because Zelda is all about exploration and they really enforce that with an open world, that kind of thing. You know, this video kind of only applies for intro to game design, if not intro to game design over J term. So far, I've loved the class. I personally love the intensity of it. The professor goes really fast, but he understands what he's doing. Uh, he's taught at the class many times before, so I'm absorbing material and it's intense but not too difficult. But whatever happens, happens. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for clicking and I'll jump into working on my homework. karate in about 15 minutes. I'm going to get ready for that. And then I'll just kind of record the day tomorrow. When I attempted to record this on Friday, I wanted to structure it and explain how things were going. But so I think what I'm going to do is just time lapse, narrate, time lapse, narrate. But before I do that, to briefly explain the structure of game design, in person, we would have a lab component, which would mean we would mess around with playing cards and draw things on pieces of paper and use die to design our games. But we can't do that because we're remote. So we're using tabletop simulator. So I spend about two hours a day in tabletop simulator with an exception of last Friday where I spent quite a few hours for our game because I was getting into the Lua scripting on tabletop simulator which was actually super fun and added a lot to our game. I'm back in time yet again today is Thursday the social game is going really well the group projects are have been just great overall I feel like I've for this week I decided to get creative with tabletop simulator since our class is in that because everything's remote the game we're making this time can't really be done with just die or cards we've essentially decided to make a bunch of custom tiles there's some setup to the game you have to to make this eight by eight grid. I guess you can sort of see that this, and you have to put in these random choice tiles or so I call them in here. 
And I did that randomly with some Lua scripting. Very proud of myself because this was actually super fun to do. Should have worked on my pitch more, but I didn't. But yeah, I just felt like that was worth putting in here because the whole start of the game is automated at this point. I, I don't know, I think the game is really fleshed out. Obviously this doesn't look great, but I'm really happy with the, the game that my group came up with. Just like last week, it was absolutely fantastic. I Last week, the game turned out so well. Uh, the professor was super happy with it. And I, me and my group mates, we were just super happy with it as well at the end. I got a haircut today and I'm, and I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it. I think it looks fine, but like, it's just different. All right, so we're on our quick like five minute break. It's 2, 10 p.m. Professor was just kind of blasting through some slides. There's a lot of material to go through. So I kind of wish we spent a little less time reviewing the quizzes and more time reviewing the material. But at the same time, we still learn a lot of useful tidbits of information. The break's gonna end in like two or three minutes. We're gonna have the two students who are pitching their games today. If you're interested in what my pitch was, you can check out Devlog3. That was one of the four projects we're responsible for. 20% of our grade, the only individual project in the class. Today, my focus is just all over the place. All in all, we're gonna go into those pitches and then some tabletop simulator and I'll check back with you after that. Look at that, it is. <laughs> 5.01 p.m. and it is not pitch black outside. Anyway, uh, we just finished up class. It is Wednesday. Whew, having such a long class feels kind of good because you get so much done and you feel like you, you know, yesterday's class feels so long ago. We had a great group session. We all ended with things to do for tomorrow, which was fantastic. Again, no tabletop sim yet, but maybe I'll record us showing the play test on Friday and that'll be in the video. You know, that's kind of it. I think the last clip I'm gonna jump to in just a moment will be my cat scratching at my door. I think the next clip that I'm gonna to jump to in just a minute will be us playtesting in Tabletop Simulator with Jesse and Mary, our TA and professor, not respectively for the order they're around. And then maybe I'll make a quick recording about what the final report looks like. Yeah, someone asked me a question about game design the other day. I don't know much about the games department. I'm not majoring or, you know, really studying there. Just a minor that I'm doing from CAS. But I hope this video has been helpful if you're looking for either a J-term information, what a game design class at NYU is like online, at least. I will see you in just a moment, I guess, when I record on Friday. I guess if that got an extra bonus for getting an objective, we could also maybe phrase it as like take an extra turn, if you think that could work. As opposed to taking something away from them, it would be giving something. I mean, it's the same thing, but yeah, I think adding a second thing to the objective is pretty good. Okay, so that was finishing up with group one. So we're gonna be playtesting first. After like the first two hours of class, I believe we'll jump in all the playtesting. Turned out pretty well. I'm really happy with the game that we came up with this week. And yeah, that's kind of how the classes run over the course of the week. As a group, you work on one big game project and about half of the class is working on it. The other half of the class is lectures and going over the homework and stuff. No more quizzes or anything. I submitted my last one last night. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you are interested in other NYU student life stuff or typing videos, language videos, stuff like that, you can check out my other videos and I'll have some on screen for you now. But without further ado, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one and don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.